So to process an actual customer, we need webhooks also. Um, Stripe has documentation about how to check that their webhook actually came from them. It uses the endpoint secret that you had set up. And then you can actually process all of the webhooks. So once it's completed, I can set in my database the subscription status to active. If it gets updated, and this will happen in the checkout product, which I'm about to show you, then I can find the user by the Stripe customer that I saved before. And then I could set their status to canceled or to a different plan. And this allows me to, on the back end, know what they've done in the customer portal. Then for managed billing, this is where the Stripe checkout product comes into play. I am using the Stripe gem again and the Stripe customer ID that I saved from Stripe checkout when they signed up. And all I have to do is create a checkout session for them and redirect them to that URL. So in their profile, I can have a manage billing button and that redirects them to Stripe checkout where they can update their plan, they can cancel their plan, and then I get that information back with webhooks. So this is great. I didn't have to write any of this code, but they can update their billing and cancel their plan and it all just works once I set up the webhooks.